Immunity to COVID-19 is the path out of this pandemic. Researchers around the world are supporting efforts to get us there. Among them, a team at Washington University in St. Louis in the US. From early in the pandemic, they've been regularly analysing blood samples from 77 people who had the virus. Last autumn, amid concerns that antibodies in the blood rapidly decay in the first few months after infection, they went looking for another line of defence, memory B cells. We looked in the bone marrow and we saw indeed that we have cells uh, in the bone marrow from people who had positive PCR test against SARS-CoV-2 up even seven or eight months and more even and 11 months after the infection. I think we all suspected that um, it would be the case that we would, we would be seeing this longer lasting immunity, but it's really nice to actually have the data to support it. A second study, which is yet to be published, looked at the antibodies created by these memory B cells. A team from Rockefeller University in New York looked at blood samples from 63 people who had COVID-19 around a year ago, and 26 of them had at least one shot of an mRNA vaccine. Project lead Dr. Michelle Nusensveig told the New York Times that the memory B cells enhanced by vaccination were so potent that they were able to neutralize a broad range of variants, negating the need for booster shots. Protecting against the variants is going to be more difficult, but it's still possible with very high levels of antibodies at the initial infection and then boosting that with a single immunization. And the research continues. The team in St. Louis have begun to examine the impact of vaccinations and resulting immune responses to the original virus and emerging variants. Laura Fletcher, RTE News.